uh, you know that in our church we have majored for many years on knowing the distinction between the new covenant and the old covenant. But sometimes that can be a, something we just say very lightly without understanding how serious it is or we don't understand all the implications of it. The important thing is not to speak about it or to use those words, new covenant, old covenant, and not even to glory in it, but to actually live in it. I want to show you some, a verse uh, from 2 Corinthians chapter 3. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 speaks a lot about the difference between the two covenants. The old covenant was made with Israel on Mount Sinai when Moses was the mediator between God and Israel. The new covenant was made on the day of Pentecost when the Holy Spirit came upon the, the first church of 120 people. And Jesus is the mediator between God the Father and us. There's a lot of difference. If you want to know how much better is the new covenant than the old covenant that is as much better as Jesus is than Moses. That's how much. So the possibility of a new covenant life is as much higher as Jesus is than Moses. But in 2 Corinthians 3.9, there are two expressions describing these two covenants. Verse 9, uh, the the old covenant is called the ministry of condemnation. And it said even that had a glory because verse 7, when Moses came down from the mountain, there was a glory on his face. But, it says in verse 7, it was a glory that was fading away. In other words, when he came down from God's presence, there was a glory. But, as time went on, that glory in his face began to dim and dim and dim and dim. That's why he put a veil over his face, it says here, so that people would not see. Verse 13, so that people would not see that this glory is decreasing. And that's one mark of people who live under the old covenant. They have to cover the fact that the glory in their life is decreasing from what it was once. That's what it says here. He put a veil on his face, verse 13, so that people would not see that underneath that veil, the face, the glory was decreasing and decreasing. And if you find in your life that some glory that you experienced in the Christian life once upon a time is decreasing and decreasing and you try to cover it up in some way or the other, that is one mark that you're really living under the old covenant because you're living before the face of men. They live before the face of men in the Old Covenant. But in the New Covenant, we live before the face of God. God sees us through and through. There's nothing to hide. 